I think you can get through to the red just above the black, but you've got to be careful of the double kiss here. Oh, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. That's clever. This is a move, Sean. I didn't spot at first. No, How I clever didn't is this. that? Very, very good shot, that. Very clever shot. Anywhere that side, he knew he couldn't leave a pot. Every day's a school day. He's playing this. What a shot. What a shot. <laughs> That's one of the best shots you'll see. The only thing is it's going to give him one point. Second shot that if he'd have messed it up, we'd have been ripping him to pieces. It's great, isn't it? Grand. As it is, it's fantastic. Wow. What a bit of... One. I'm sure he's playing on for the blue there. What do you think, Stephen? I mean, if he's played that, that's incredible. Well, there was no raise of hand to apologise, and Yan Bing Tao tapped his leg to applaud the shot. We'll just have to give him the benefit of the doubt. If he did, what a shot. Another excellent shot from John Higgins. And there was nothing fortunate about that shot. Knew exactly what he was doing. Blue and pink were a big target to hide the yellow behind. Second part of the shot was bring the green away from the cushion. Have a look at this. It's a cracker. Such a clever little shot, that. Sometimes the balls are everywhere, and whoever gets in first is normally guaranteed a certainty of winning the frame, in theory. He got spotted a plant, and what a plant he's played there. Oh, a plant double. And you probably heard in the background Stephen Hendry saying good shot. Well, same again. Well, wow, what can you say? <laughs> what can you say? Genius. Well, after all my years in the game, I've seen something new. position of his shirt so he just pulled out the left hand side just to leave that arm free <laughs> all in his own inimitable style and how about that Six. for his own style absolutely superb he's right back in this frame what a shot this was well because he had to make sure he missed the yellow make sure he missed the in off shot from Mark there, fully intentional, colliding into the black, bringing it into play, should he get a chance, that could be available. That's not a bad choice. He thought long and hard about it. <laughs> We've always said for years that John Higgins has got one of the best snooker brains ever in the game, and I think he just proved it there, picking that shot out. Oh, but that's 
a wonderful 14. shot using the black as the stopper. Exactly as he played. What a shot that was. One. Another very confident pop from Hussein, but he was trying something a bit special there to try and leave himself on the pink, and he's a bit unlucky, I think. Don't know if he can see enough of the pink to pot it. Maybe he can. Well, I'll tell you what, that makes the opening red even better. I mean, look at this shot he's played as well. Yes, sir. Oh, he's dead straight. Anything but there. So you can only just pot this brown and then play a safety shot on the blue. Well, he, well, he didn't actually go for that. He's actually played a really clever shot. Excellent shot there from Stuart Bingham. Clever little shot, this, and Judd Trump. What a clever shot that is. And from looking in the driving seat, two shots ago, and Barry Hawkins is in all sorts of bother. Lovely little shot, stung the green into the pink, brought it into play, and got the snooker. Very clever. This is a little beauty because the pink and black weren't available. Well, he's got to play a safety shot here, I'd say. And a clever one Ding to push both threads up the table. That's a very, very clever shot. How about that? That's a terrific shot. Well, that's almost as stunning a shot as the red got to start that break, which Barry Hawkins thought he played safe. Chance of the black finding its way in. Eight. From the so called big pocket off the edge of the red. Oh, well, what about that? And off the red. That was a very clever Seven. shot he's played there. Look at this. Well, I'll tell you what. Because of the red over the left middle pocket, he had to get that one right, uh, Ken. Yeah, that was a very clever shot indeed. That little double kiss, kiss was played, so just to make it very awkward to if he was going to take the red on into the left centre. If he pulls this off, no, he's not playing it now. Oh. <laughs> you know, I think 61. he, after he lined the plant up, I think he attempted that. That was an amazing shot. He looked and he looked at the plant so many times, and then he got down and have a look at this. That is not a fluke. 65.
a little tap from Higgins tells you what a good shot that was. Well, very clever. Couldn't have played it any better. Dear me. Heck of a safety, that one. Green. Not impossible for Jimmy, but difficult. Using the angles of the pocket, and he couldn't have played that any better. There was no natural angle there, so he used them two angles, the jaws of the pocket, to come out for the brown. Oh, what does he do? He's going to roll into the reds and hope he gets it safe. Oh, that's a fantastic effort. What a great shot. How imaginative was that? Every credit to... What a beautiful shot. Well played. <laughs> Obviously unlucky. He's left the red, but... What a great try. It looks close. Fancy him to get this. Just a bit thinner than half ball, I'd say. Just thinner than half ball. He's got it. Good shot. One. Yeah. That's the key ball. He'll not be reaching that with his hand, so it's never mind the pot. We see the shot again, what's shown. Right hand side, check side to bring the, the cue ball back in a straight line down the table. Somewhere back over the blue spot. This is a very clever shot. If that's what he played to move the reds away from that black, and if he's got a plant on Six. here, well, this couldn't have worked out better. <coughs> Yeah, this is a very clever shot he's played here, deliberately. See the check side, bring the cue ball back in a straight line and... That cue ball needs to run. What a great shot that is. <laughs> Believe me, that is so well thought out. OK, he may have left a pot of some kind. Well played. He'd like to be brave here and, and almost play a full ball cannon on the blue with a little bit of pace, but that would be risky. He played it though. Good shot. Good thinking. What a clever shot that was, trying to push the black safe. And at the same time, coming off the black and playing that good safety. Worth another luck, that. Well, I think I'll be playing it with plenty of screw and just hoping to screw out of there. I think it's one of them you've got to concentrate on the pot. Don't worry about where the cue ball goes. Well, how about 16. that? What a fantastic shot. And there was no luck involved there. And that was very well worked out. Brilliant. Yeah, how clever was that? Don't have to clear mind to pick up on that shot. He's got the chance to win the frame here. I think he should go for it. Take the green onto the corner. No, he's not doing that. In behind the blue, perhaps? That's a very clever shot, using the pink to hold the green at this end. So this third frame, then, is still in the balance. Just four points the difference between them. Going in off. But he's not. He's playing the first red. Is he going for the pot? Well, that's a fantastic shot. That was a fantastic shot. The ball is too far away, Sullivan.
you can do here. Not really, no. I mean, the possibility is the enough. off. Uh, he's just in such a hole here. Yeah, he's played the double kiss, and what a shot he's played there. He's played the double kiss, and look where he's got the cue ball. That is an incredible shot. Wow. <laughs> Incredible shots. So the second 40 minute plus frame of the tournament. But I tell you what, Neil, you can't fault Mark Allen's application. I don't think he'll leave a free ball. That was very well worked. He didn't go for the pot if anyone thought he did. Great vision again. We talk about creativity and talent. One. Well, that's a bit risky. He's going to play it as a shot or nothing. He won't be leaving anything. Yeah, he played. Oh, what a shot he's played there. What a wonderful shot. Well, <laughs> well. that's so clever. The glancing blow off the second red. The thing if he goes side to side here, pink to left side cushion. It, it gives Jordan perhaps a chance to promote the black into play. See, Mark will think about that as well. You know, so he may well play it. Let's see. Just push the pink to the left side cushion. It gives Jordan a chance to promote the black. You see, that's why he shoved it up past the middle pocket. Brilliant thinking from Mark Selby, that is. Absolutely superb. It looks nothing, but it might mean everything in terms of this frame. Jack was a strong favourite to where the balls were, but after that shot, that's turned the whole thing around. This is one of the best shots you'll ever see. I mean, that was judged to perfection. Two cushions and glance the red. Fabulous. Simply fabulous. I mean, you think you've got him under all sorts of trouble, and he produces this. I don't think anyone else in the game, well, you spotted it. You called the shot, Alan, so you probably would have played it, but I can't think of anyone else that would have played this.